What's up, everybody? We're here with the Creator Series again, this time focusing on characters. Characters are going to be a lot like enemies, so we're just going to blast through this. Um, as you can see, we don't have a skin or a role like we do with enemies. Um, this is because that's kind of uh, determined a different way with characters. We start off with the name and a class name. These are just whatever you want it to be. In this case, we have Magnor as a Berserker. You can also have him as a Barbarian. You could make a warrior out of him, whatever you want to do. You set his aggressiveness and his selfishness. This is for AI. Um, then we start moving on to his strengths and his weaknesses. All of these are going to be optional if you add, as usual, a negative, you're going to bolster the strengths. If you add a strength, you're going to distribute the power that is going to be given to all of the strengths uh, through more stats. So if you leave some of these out, it's not like you're missing out. You're going to be able to, of course, uh, bolster the ones that you do choose. So if you just had one, it'd be very pronounced. You can add a backstory to them here. Just paste in some text or type it in there if you'd like. And then we can move on to here with his ab abilities. You see that we have a master expert and novice ability. That means whichever you want his main ability to be, you're going to want to put it into master. Abilities can also tier up just like uh, weapons or any piece of equipment. So the master ability is going to be his preferred. Um, you can select whatever you want, any ability that you or we have made. You know, there's you know, thousands to choose from, uh, or rather over a thousand at least. So here are the three abilities that he has. You can also view them by inspecting him. Uh, we have Enraged, Wild Swing, and Reckless Whirlwind. So he's kind of using some, some focus here. He's doing some AoEs, uh, and of course he's doing physical damage. Then you have his preferred equipment. Now we're almost certainly going to be improving the look of this before uh, we put it out there, but um, this is how it is for now. You can choose, of course, his weapon. You can choose his armor and accessory and trinket. Um, those can be anything that you create or any ones that we created. We even have a fill in with suggested equipment based on the stats and abilities that you've chosen. So that will automate it for you out of our list of equipment, but of course you can create your own. You are down here, the viewport controls, you can of course change uh, the tier that we're looking at him at. So this would mean that it, all of his equipment would be legendary. You can see his stats are gonna be really epic there. You're gonna see all of the abilities that he can get from his equipment, um, but you can leave it at, at common and, and just look at him right as, as he would be right out of the gate. Down here in the viewport controls, we can also test his voice, which of course you would hear if I had sound activated. Um, you can also play his victory animation or his death animation. Those are customizable as well. Um, then we move on to the visuals. Here you can select from any of the skins that we're going to include. You can also, of course, create your own. This button up here is probably temporary as well, but you can get character image template, which is just going to be a sort of transparent, you know, dotted outline with with these little uh, sort of guides as to where everything goes and, and what everything should be like. You could also just take a look at the ones that we've already created to help guide you there. You can scale them up there to look at them better. The animation style is cool. So here we can set him to uh, be animated in you know beast mode or cute. Um, you can make him float. You can uh, make him a gunslinger. You can do all kinds of things here. Uh, and, and this is of course purely cosmetic. There's not going to be any uh, gameplay um, component to this. Here's where you set his victory animation or his death animation, and you can play them down here. And then the speaker data, so you can, basically this is any time that he's speaking in game, the dialogue comes up, you can actually look at all of the different um, you know, speaker data that we have, you can create your own. And these can be anything, they don't have to be faces, they can be you know entire images or whatever you prefer. And finally, you can set his sound over here. Um, this is just going to be from, from the character data currently. We also have a, an enemy packs, which have hundreds of different sound packs there. Um, these are the, the ones that are already finished up for characters, but you can actually create your own as well. Again, these little um, icons of a speaker will allow you to test that sound to see what that voice is going to sound like before you equip it. And that's basically it. At the end here, if you wanted to, you can set it as a build. So for instance, this character here, uh, the Berserker, is a build of Magnor the Warrior. So that means that he's not going to occupy another spot 
in your uh, character select box. Instead, when you put Magnor the warrior up on uh, your your the little pedestals to select them, you'll see that those runes pop up that you can turn around and basically select builds of Magnor. This is just kind of for, for bookkeeping for organization purposes, uh, but it's a nice convenient way of packaging a bunch of characters into a character. Um, and as you can see, his skin is actually a little bit different than the Magnor skin. So if we go here and we just select the Magnor skin, you can see it's just a little different. You know, it's it's no big deal. But um, you can, of course, feel free to customize um, these skins however you, you uh, feel like. You can obviously give them the skin of Claire or whoever, whoever you wanted to. There's uh, no limitations here. Uh, it's all just really for organization. And that's basically it for characters.